Hello, my name is Andre Lapine, uh, CEO at Zebra BI, and today I'm very fortunate that we have Rolf Hehert discussing IBCS standards uh, in detail. Um, I think it's going to be a very interesting discussion. Now, Dr. Rolf Hehert was uh, working at Fraunhofer Institute, was, was a consultant at McKinsey Company, founded two software, um, worked at two software companies, founded one, and then uh, eventually was a professor at University at Constance, and also eventually started his company, which is now called Hehert and Feist, where he um, developed success rules, which are very well known, um, and solved the communication problems with, um, within companies, so reporting problems, reporting issues, and now all this is culminating in IBCS International uh, Business Communication Standards. Rolf, uh, welcome to Ljubljana. <laughs> Thank you, Andre. <laughs> Rolf, let's get straight to the point. Why should a company implement international business communication standards? Short question, but maybe a complex answer. Well, let's first talk about the quality of standards in other applications. Standards in traffic signs, standards in music, standards in engineering, standards in, in the plugs as uh, I brought my computer. The plugs fits in your socket. It's practical if we have standards for all kinds of aspects. So I think it is practical if we agree on standards also in communicate, communicating business content. So if I um, give a report to you showing sales or headcount or profit margins, that I use the same notation concept as you, it makes it easier for you and your colleagues to understand it if we have standards. Standards are uh, visualization standards, are standards in, in terms, standards in, in, in colors, standards in all kinds of aspects of communication. And today, I think that's what you said before, we talk about that's a presentation material, that means, that means PowerPoint on one side, and reports, maybe also dashboards. I mean, mm -hmm. communica communicating business content. Mm -hmm. So what is wrong with um, spreadsheets and, and PowerPoint slides and dashboards that people are already using um, in internal business communication. <laughs> Nothing is moment. wrong. Nothing is wrong. I mean, you can use it and you will use it in the future. But m my suggestion or the suggestion of our association is that we use the same expressions, the same visualizations for the same content. Today, you can tell, if you look at an Excel sheet or you look at PowerPoint slide, you can tell who produced this Excel sheet or which company made this PowerPoint slide. Uh, the author is, 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 is very easily identified, but I think it should be always the same as we, if you talk about monthly sales or about uh, an average headcount or a certain margin, it should be the same notation. It should be the same wording, it should be the same colors. And this is the advantage. And we don't have it today. I mean, today uh, the CEO might get um, uh, blue lines, uh, blue line charts in sales from one department, and maybe a red pie chart from the next department, or some columns or bars. And every author of reports decides himself or herself how this little report and this nice report should look like. It would be very hard to drive if. Uh, on any uh, term, any crossing I in the road, we would get a different sign, right? Right, <laughs> so I mean, it's, it's, it's much easier if I get a blue shape rounded with an arrow. I know that I have to turn yeah. right. Or Even if I go across the country, right, it's standard, I can drive. Well, so take red and green lights. I mean, it is practical mm -hmm. that in, in Slovenia, in Germany, and Switzerland, even in, in, in the United States and UK, red means stop and green means go. I mean, just imagine if we would change it, mm -hmm. and uh, in some countries it would be the opposite. It is very practical. And we agree on standards in every part of our daily life. Standards help us not from the sockets to, to the voltage in our electricity network, 
to the driving on the right hand side or left hand side and architects are using standards and um, electric engineers are even the chess notation is standardized worldwide so chess players can exchange their notes only in business and uh, if I ask you uh, how does uh, let's say monthly sales looks like you say well today maybe it's a green line and tomorrow it's a blue pie chart that's it that was exactly my next question <laughs> how does uh, okay. monthly sales look like according <laughs> to IBCS standard and also you are using uh, gray, uh, green and, and red light like we were just talking yeah. about what what do these uh, okay. colors mean and what's the monthly sales yeah. like Okay, let's start with the red and green. That's easier because it's only a yes or no decision. Everything that is green has a, a positive variance to a certain goal, budget, or maybe previous year. That is green. It's better than expected. We do not use the color green for any other purpose. Red is a, a, a negative deviation of something, of competitors, of average, of uh, our company goals. So the colors red and green are taken and we cannot use it for corporate design or any other purposes. We do not use red for negative colors, only for negative variances, deviations, variances. So <laughs> coming back to your question, how does uh, sales, monthly sales look like? It depends. I mean, do we want to say, to, to, to show the, the structure of sales, then this would be a bar chart I mean, the showing different bars for countries or products vertically oriented uh, vertical axes and 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 bar and bars with horizontal bars for the different values and if you uh, show I want to s want to show the, the the time development over month I mean the 12 month of the year then it is columns and they are at the beginning they are black or dark gray because we have no other concept yet. Later we want to ask maybe uh, more details, but at the beginning everything is gray and black. And that's how we start uh, the visualization. And then it, can, then it can develop. For example, if I want to show the budget for the next year, it looks different than the yeah. actuals yeah. Of this year, right? Could you but this, explain that a little this bit? This is a very important uh, dimension in our business because variances and comparisons are very important in business communication. I mean, we compare us always, all the time. I mean, all visualizations are meant to compare things, compare data. So comparisons is one of the base, basic uh, challenges we have. So. We said, okay, um, if we compare actual to budget, then actual, as I said before, is, is maybe a black black bar or black column. And budget is an outline because it has not been filled with actual data yet. And the forecast in the between budget and, and actual data maybe is, is a hatched uh, bar or column. And previous year is already gone, is in the past faded away is maybe a gray color and I think this is a, a basic one of the let's say the top 10 um, ideas that uh, IBCS tries to convey is that we need a concept for categories as we call them actual mm -hmm. previous year budget forecast so the basic scenarios that every company has budget and so on yeah. they are completely standardized yeah. what about other concepts what would you say that are the five most important concepts yeah. uh, within the IBCS and what they, do they cover? Yeah. Well, then we have to separate the three pillars of IBCS uh, before answering this question. The first pillar is, let's say, certain conceptual rules. That means, what do I want to say? What is my message? Uh, what is the structure, the storyline? That's conceptual had nothing to do with visualization. And then the next big pillar of IBCS is the perceptional part. That means uh, how do I express it? Which kind of visualization? Uh, uh, scaling issues or which chart on table I should take? That's do not cut axis. Uh, I mean, that's maybe one of the perceptional concepts. Uh, do not use pie charts because there might be better uh, visual visualizations. 
uh, and the third aspect and the th third pillar that is new this is the question of semantics of meaning that means um, and we talk about this at the moment I mean scenarios mean something black means actual uh, um, gray means previous year and here I think uh, talking about semantics we have maybe five or six important dimensions aspects first one is measures how does let's say uh, basic measures look like compared to ratios how does values look like compared uh, that means currencies compared to volumes that means units how does um, uh, let's say uh, absolute variances look like compared to percentage variances how does uh, a time development look like compared to a structure we had this a, a minute ago and so there are five six seven basic cuts in, in this concept and I think they already cover 50 60 70 percent of the problems we have we're not talking about let's say the churn rate of a tele telecommunication company or um, the, the the hotel bed usage in, in, a, in a certain hotel those are specific business line ratios and 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 and, and, and key factors of success i would not uh, try to standardize but as you said sales profit month actual years that's the same in a bank and in insurance and in a in a uh, let's say beverage company mm -hmm. so this means that actually internal reports from even such different companies um, like across industries even different sizes or different locations in the world all these these the same concepts the same uh, yeah. types of, of of measures and so on the internal reports should look the same well this would be ideal I mean if I'm an international organization having uh, some large organization using this concepts in hundreds and hundreds and fifty different countries worldwide uh, from from China to United States to Finland to Poland to Germany and to all kinds of different countries and they using the same concept for the business figures worldwide that's the same it's very practical if you your direct reports send the reports to you and they're using the same notation it's very practical if it's possible to transfer this concept from banks to insurances to to airlines and hotel chains i think it is possible because they all have months and sales and profit and headcount the 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 basic business terms mm -hmm. are the same even much more than that like yeah maybe uh, maybe uh, yeah maybe 50 60 100 uh, terms are the same year to date values comparisons comparisons, comparisons even budget. even the ratios are very uh, very often the same mm. um, and i think we have to to standardize the the basics uh, maybe this is maybe some 30 or 40 rules we have to find and not every detail because if you have let's say two or three different uh, budgets budget one two three or different forecasts it is your decision if you say okay it's sufficient I have hatched for forecast for three different forecasts if you say no I have hatch number one and hatch number two this is your decision mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. our suggestion is to have standards for the overall dimensions and the details mm -hmm. that's 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 your decision mm -hmm.